Yes, please. In case of blastocysts, um, you said that three hours is the culture period. Three hours maximum is the culture period. Three hours. Yes, maximum. So can we extend it to one day? Go in yes, for yes. a point of hatching or a hatching stage and then transfer. Yes, as I yes, I don't recommend because as I told you, so longer culture and culture means decrease the pregnancy rate. So if you find the survival, I recommend you to transfer as soon as possible to the highest uh, pregnancy rate to take care of the blastocyst of the patient. Aria is better. Aria is better for the better pregnancy. But I recommend you to culture to the blastocyst stage. Okay. Is hatching necessary? Huh? Hatching? Hatching? hatching you no, no. It was timing is very important for blastocyst transfer, blastocyst certification. So blastocyst should be vitrified. The size between 160 to 220. So in, the, in that in this case, we don't need to give any assisted hatching. Some stupid people give a laser hatching and giving damage to the cells of blastocyst. I think it's very stupid. Yeah? So, you know, zona, uh, zona hardening, hardening. Zona hardening occurred only, only in the metaphase two stage. Some people misunderstand. Zona hardening never occurred in blastocyst stage. Uh, would you prefer blastocyst to vitrification more to a 6-cell, 4-cell, or an 8-cell uh, listing? Yes, sure. Yeah. So, we could obtain the highest, very high, we will accept the pregnancy rates. Many, many times you don't have that kind of embryo. Maybe you have only 2 or 3, you don't want to go for a blastocyst uh, culture. Yeah. So, in that condition, you do vitrify a 4-cell or a 6-cell. But uh, after thawing, you would suggest we wait for a blastocyst, uh, this thing, and then transfer? No, so in you know we are doing natural chromium cycle, so average number of the oocyte first aspiration is 1.6. However, we we are doing our best to culture all the zygote to the blastocyst stage. However, if there's some patient wants very they very want to transfer after day two or day three, that we do. However, pregnancy rate doesn't established, so we recommend them to give the culture. So I. Uh, I try to do our best to make to establish the best culture system for the blastocyst. If we do vitrify a four cell, six cell, yes. uh, it's, uh, even then you would, uh, uh, what I was trying to say is, you would suggest that we wait till uh, blastocyst is formed and then transfer rather than transferring the six cell? Sure, yes. Okay. And is the actual reason just to see if it will go to the to the blastocyst stage and then not do the actual actual transfer if it doesn't make it, or why why do you think it's better to, to go to the to the blastocyst stage? It's better. It? So to keep the highest uh, highest means acceptable pregnancy rate without producing any multiple pregnancy. Okay. But then what if a blastocyst is not formed? Hmm? Because what if you lose the embryo and a blastocyst is not formed? Yeah. Then what do we do? Hmm? <laughs> like when we are culturing it, when we are culturing a six cell embryo, you know, I have two six cell embryos. I culture it for blastocyst, but there's no blastocyst formation. Then do I continue with the transfer, or just I discard the embryos? Discard. Discard. But then the patient will not be very happy with it. Yeah, so, yes, of course. <laughs> so we have we have to establish that you have to improve the best culture condition. So once once blastocyst doesn't. If the was an uh, embryo you cannot come uh, to the first stage, there's no possibility of the pregnancy. Right? So the patient understand because if, if, if we have the best culture condition and the, a lot of data from, to, uh, from the, the relationship of the blastocyst formation rate, formation rate, well, if we do not pregnant, uh, if not the no blastocyst, uh, that is a no pregnancy rate. It's easier in Japan to handle patients than in India. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, uh, because they believe so that our culture system is the best in, best in the world, so they trust us. So there was one more question. When you said that we need to incubate the TS in the incubator for till to the 37 degrees for an hour, uh, how long do we take out the DS solution, like from the, because it's in the refrigerator, right? How long do you want us to, like, a half an hour before? No, one the, hour. One hour. One hour. Yes. 
All the TS region except TS is one hour from the, from the fridge. And TS to is three hours. TS is three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Is it a CO2 incubator or it's a plain incubator? Of course. We just with closed cap. Yeah, closed cap and a CO2 incubator. Yes. And this, uh, the retro plates which you are uh, hmm? providing, the plates which we are providing with the media, yeah. they are only one plate, so can we reuse the plates for the patients? I don't recommend that. So. Well, then how do we, <laughs> like it's only for one patient, one pack, then how do we use it for the other patient? Then we use the nunk uh, or anything for the else. So the warming one, warming one. I'm asking the warming and the vitrification. Uh, you know, the vitrification kits contain three plates. Okay, three plate means it's enough for the egg donation. Okay? okay. So it's enough for the 16 or 20, 20 all sites can be vitrified by this one. And for, uh, um, for example, for all sites, for four cryo eggs, 16 all sites. Or but 20 all sites. This is for the one patient. Or for the blastocyst, we have opportunity to vitrify the, the blastocyst on day five in the morning, afternoon, and day six for three times. So it fits to the three times for one patient. And also this, con this is almost all the one time we use. Okay? We need only one, uh, only one blastocyst okay, for the end transfer uh, or three all sites for the one uh, IVF ET from the all certification patients. So it's fit for the one time. Yes, just fit one time. So I, we deduce the price and the fit to the one time. Each. Some policy. Yeah. 